Good evening YouTube, a uh, bit of a different video for you tonight. Um, I've, after watching some videos posted by uh, Ian on YouTube, where he's having his uh, his uh, wargaming battles, uh, I decided I was going to take the plunge myself, uh, just for a little while and uh, and see how it, uh, how it works and how it comes together. So I bought myself a couple of uh, sets here. We've got the uh, British Starter Army, uh, so this is the Napoleonic uh, Line Infantry. And I also purchased uh, this Chosen Men um, uh, box set as well. Um, this is not instead of the railway, I'm still doing that. Um, in fact, I did some earlier tonight. Uh, but it's uh, a nice little diversion. Uh, the room is really hot where the railway is at the moment. So although it dries glue really well, um, it's not very pleasant being in there for, for too long. So I thought I'd get something else um, just to, to see how it, how it goes, really. Um, so this is what I bought. Um, I also bought some paint, so I need a lot more paint, I think, um, and some matte varnish. Um, I've already opened these and had a look, um, and as a starter set, I must say I'm a little bit disappointed with this, um, and I'll, I shall explain why. So, uh, see so if I can get the, the box lid off. Probably not. Yeah, typically. Um, so, I expected, being a starter set, for this to contain pretty much everything I needed, uh, apart from paint, of course, and glue, I expected to have to buy that myself. Um, but everything else I expected to be in the box. Um, but actually what we have in the box is the figures, a little pamphlet uh, for instructions, and that's it, really. Um, I expected some nice detailed instructions, being, as I said, being the starter set, uh, but really, um, the the pamphlet, which I shall show you in a second, um, isn't really worth the paper it's printed on. But here we go. Um, so we've got some sprues here with the uh, the army figures on. Um, so they look fairly easy to put together. And there's only a couple of parts. So there's a backpack, the the main body of the the soldier, and the head. Uh, so nothing too difficult there. So there's a whole bunch of those. So most of them are the same actually, so I'll just move them to one side. Uh, there's different poses for the for the troops and uh, there's people that do better reviews of this than I will, so I'll leave that to them. But there's various sprues and stuff. Then we've got some metal uh, figures in here as well. So we've got uh, a horse and his rider, so it must be a commander or something. Um, a cannon with crew and then various other figures. Now, there are two types of troops into the, in this box. We've got some German troops um, in British uniform, so they are attached to uh, the British Army. And then we have the British Army soldiers themselves. So here we are. So this is the instructions. That is it. And to call them instructions is not really uh, doing it justice. Um, it's just some flags and a little description of the troops. That's it. So I'm guessing they, they, they want you to use this as the painting guide, um, but there's nothing about how to what glue to use or um, what poses to put them in or how many troops to stick together or uh, you know to make a unit up or anything like that. And that's actually some um, historical information about these German troops. But again, that's it, some flags on the back, that's it. Um, in my opinion, the starter set should have, um, well, information really about um, gluing it all together and how um, how to form your units up. But never mind. Um, and as you can see, there are no bases whatsoever. So even when I put these together, um, I've still got to go and buy some more bases. So I'm not um, I'm not overly impressed, but I'm not massively under impressed either it's not about to go uh, straight on eBay or anything like that I'm gonna give it a go uh, but pricing up um, uh, the the extra bits I need so um, bases um, some really fine paint brushes as I, I looked at the paint brushes I've got for the models uh, railway stuff and they're nowhere near fine enough to get to, to get the detail in here um, so the moldings are pretty good actually I'll give them that, <laughs> um, but the, the, the paintbrushes are nowhere near fine enough. So I ordered some paintbrushes, 
Um, when I purchased um, these sets, I also purchased a paint pack uh, of these things, uh, which said they were Napoleonic paint uh, for the British Army. Um, and having had a look at the, the paint and uh, some paint codes I found online for, uh, for these colours that you see here, um, they're the only ones out of the pack of 16 or 20 uh, different tubes that actually match these. Uh, so I've got to get some more paint. So all in all, the additional stuff I need comes to about £60 with the bases and the paintbrushes and the glue and um, the additional paint. Um, so I'm not massively impressed uh, with that. I've already spent over £100 on this stuff. Um, I need to find half the paints, or well, mo more than half the paint is useless. And um, I still need to buy bases. So not an ideal start but nevertheless i shall carry on and i shall put this lot together now the these troops this box in fact is better than the starter box uh, because on the back it shows you um all the different soldiers so i know they can't show all the different soldiers on the large box uh, but the back of this is just plain white um, so that's all you really get so i know they can't show you all the soldiers because there's so many of them um, it would have been nice to have a bit of a painting guide. Oh, bit of a shiny box there. Bit of a painting guide, uh, but never mind. Um, so in here, uh, we have metal figures, um, and there are 16 uh, metal figures in total there. Um, so what I'll do is I'll put uh, I'll put a few of these together first. Then um, I've seen several techniques and Ian uh, gave me a, a, an idea of how to start painting these up but I've seen several techniques one of which is, is to spray them in black primer uh, one of them Ian's one is to paint them in diluted PVA first of all after washing them of course um, and then paint straight on the top of that so I shall do a few of these and I'll try both methods and uh, see which one comes out the best Anyway, so that's my sort of evening projects while the, the really, really hot weather is here uh, for the next few weeks. Um, as I say, I'll still be doing railway stuff. Um, just not, uh, I'm not staying up in that room for too long. This is uh, quite easy to do downstairs and, and outside. Um, what I thought I'd do is, is paint uh, them on these, uh, these, these bases, these bottle tops, basically. Um, so use a bit of double sided sticky tape or some blue tack or something, stick the guys to this, then paint them on that. That seems to be the favoured method. Um, the alternative is to, to uh, um, stick them onto some coins, 2 pps or, or 10 pps or something like that, uh, to give them a little bit of weight so you can paint them. Anyway, I'll be giving that a go and um, we'll see how it turns out. Um, I'll do some little progress videos along the way. Uh, hopefully this weekend I'll have enough railway stuff done to do another update on that one. Uh, but uh, this is a really nice diversion, so I shall crack on with this. Thanks all. Bye-bye.